Hi, pal number one. All right, so this reading is all about how do men view you, but this reading will be extended over in the extended. It will be the 18 plus version of how men view you, okay? So if you're interested in that, y'all already know what to do. It's in the description box below. But how do men view you? Okay, so listen, you guys. I have been channeling with you by Chris Brown for the longest. And as soon as I started to shuffle these cards, that song started to come back in my head. So the way that men are viewing you as they're viewing you as if it's kind of like you need to be their counterpart or you need to be their um, their person. You need to be, you know, like there's a need. OK, so there's a longing. There's a longing for you. Men are viewing you as someone that they are longing for or someone that is completely missing out of their life. And it's there's a longing here, pal number one. So it's it's kind of like a, a feeling here of, man, like you have something that I need or you, it's giving, you are the other part of me, you know? And I'm hearing lyrics from the song with you pop up and I'm trying to grab them as I'm talking. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're being viewed as the best part of someone's day. Like, they feel better when they're with you like no one else will do okay like that's the type of energy that i'm getting for you pile number one men oh i just realized i had her out here hold up yeah so you're being viewed in that light you're being viewed in that light you know the emperor card is the first card here um there's someone that wants to i'm hearing dominate a situation but I'm I'm picking that up as like how can I explain this? It's just a very masculine energy that I'm picking up on. It's kind of like a leading you where you need to go, or kind of like a um, being that person that kind of like you could turn your brain off with, you know? Like that's yeah, men are viewing you in a way that changes them. It's kind of like when men view you, pile number one, they instantly go into, um, I want to say, uh, their masculine energy. Like they, you, you, oh, you bring out the masculinity within men, pile number one. You really do. Um, and you make them want to fight for something. You make them want to, uh, fight for you or you have you hold a lot of value pile number one for men and this may just be one man or it's just the men that are, are around you right now but you hold a lot so much value it's like your value is going unmissed or did i say that right they're not missing your value okay they're really not um yeah there's a sharpness about it with men men are so sure about you they're very sure they're very clear they're very clear that it's you they're very clear that it's not anybody else but it's pile number one like that's the type of energy that i'm getting when it yes and then you got the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck and you have the seven of wands right under that it's like i said what i said it's like that type of energy um how do men view my pile number ones I heard like a babe you're a babe <laughs> yeah men are viewing you like a you're a babe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i'm picking up on the state of texas here so you could be from texas you could live in texas it's really random but popped up for me right now so comment down below comment down below let me know if that resonates for you but um yeah pile number one you got somebody on your hands that's like it's you it's you and me it's us baby it's us okay like i don't know if you thought it wasn't us but it's us you know like that's the type of energy um man total catch a babe um uh, i mean men are viewing you as someone that they want to pursue it's like you're giving the type of energy like when they see you pile number one they're instantly in their masculine energy when it comes to you they're instantly in that energy of wanting to pursue you i don't get like a toxic runner chaser type of thing here at all it's just you give you spark a light under men like you spark you spark yourself you're sparking something okay 
You're sparking something under men. And they're like, oh, this is one that I... Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and get up. It's kind of like a... Maybe they've been late. Maybe this is men who've been lazy when it comes to dating, you know? Yeah, I mean, this could be men who, you know, they just kind of let things happen how it happens. They don't really put too much effort. Maybe they feel like they haven't had to or they haven't had the right person th that makes them get up. Yeah, this is the type of person or man here that's like, you know, once I feel that passion or once I feel like I should get up and go after someone or get up and pursue someone, I'll do it. But I haven't felt that way, you know, so... I haven't done that, but then along came pile number one, all right? <laughs> along came pile number one, and then this one man or men in general, um, because I feel like it could just be men around you who felt that way, they're like, oh, I'm getting up. Mm-hmm. Where is pile number one at? Yeah, there's like some, some I want to say vigor or passion behind it for men. Men are viewing you, oh, you have a nice body, pile number one. Your body is banging, okay? It looks so good. Um, but it's not just that with you. And that's what men really like about you, you know? It's like, they like the fact that um, it's not just that. It really is not just that. It's more to you, of course there is, but there's more to you than it than just your looks or your body, but they're really putting emphasis on that body though, okay? They really are. They're putting emphasis on your body. You have such a nice body. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, this, Like I said, this could be one man. This could just be men in general who are seeing you. If you are dating some one person specifically, this is that man, but if you are not, uh, I mean, you still got one specific man around you. I guess you just don't know him, um, but they're, they're eyeing you, pile number one. A lot of you know who this person is, though. Others of you, this could be a crush. How are men viewing my pile number ones? I want to clarify this emperor, because this emperor got something to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm telling you. Listen, the emperor got something to say. And what the emperor has to say is you know, you're my match. <laughs> you're my match. I feel this way. I feel like this. I see you like this, you know, like I see us doing this, or I can see you being the mother of my child, or I see you in a way that I don't think you see yourself, or I don't know, somebody has some words for you or not like that, but like some, something to tell you, you know, like it's, it's, it's giving romance. It's giving, um, key to my heart I heard you have the key to my heart you yeah it's giving I gotta tell you something and what I gotta tell you is that you're the one for me I mean you got the empress at the bottom of the deck you got the emperor here you got the ten of ten of pentacles you got the star um hmm this is giving like I'm calling judgment on this situation or I'm calling bullshit yeah is this giving I'm calling bullshit I'm calling bullshit on this on a situation, meaning like, huh, how can I explain this? Someone's calling bullshit on something. Maybe, maybe you are, you, what's going on, pile number one? Because I'm getting caught in this energy here. How do men view you? They view you as if you're the one, but they're calling bullshit. Pile number one, if there's someone around you specifically who maybe you you felt a connection with or you do feel a connection with, but you're not really fully leaning into it yet or something like that, someone's like, no, I know that there's feelings there. I know that there's something deeper there. I'm calling bullshit, okay? So that's that's where I'm getting that from. Um, how do men view my pile number one? I mean, baby, like you're the one. I keep shuffling these cards, the Empress. I keep seeing the Empress as I'm shuffling. Um, I really feel like men are seeing you to be their match. Men are seeing you to be their soulmate if they believe in that, you know, twin flame if they believe in that. And this is coming from the man's perspective that's saying this, like twin flame or soulmate, or they feel like you're a part of their destiny or things like that. This is coming from the masculine's perspective on the feminine energy here okay um yeah i heard my rib man pile number one somebody here knows that it's like they know <laughs> i think this person even gets frustrated because it's like they know 
maybe they feel like you know too, but you're not really showing that. And that's where I was getting, I'm calling bullshit. Somebody's like, nah, man, there's no way you don't feel this. So this could be someone you've been dating for a while. Others of you, others of you, this is just someone who's been watching you or if you're on any dating apps or anything like that, pile number one, you have a lot of men viewing you and a lot of men see you this way. A lot of men are like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I know that this person's on this dating app, but nah, man, I'm, I'm going to be the one. I'm going to be the one or I know what to say or something like that, pile number one. Okay, because I feel like I'm tapping into uh, someone's conversation right now. Um, clarify this Ten of Pentacles. What um child how are men viewing you clarify this tenant yes look at this ace of wands high priestess men are viewing you as if they know that this is what's gonna happen you know men are viewing you in a way where they're like waiting for it to unfold how they know it's gonna unfold you know men are viewing you um this is a very confident man or men around you. They're very confident. And they're like, yeah, okay, I know. Mm-hmm. And it's only a matter of time. Or for some of you, you're dating someone specific and this is all about this one person, okay? So it's going to resonate differently for everybody. But others of you, this is just men in general and how they're viewing you. Again, I really want to repeat, this really could be one man who is like, I'm waiting, I'm just here, I'm waiting for this shit to unfold. I'm waiting for this to unfold. Yeah, okay. Yeah, someone's got the plan. Someone's got a plan? Someone's, someone's got a plan when it comes to you, pot number one. And they're not, they're not, like this person that I'm speaking on, they speak in a very cool way. They're like real cool, real, real chill about it or something. But like, they're very confident. They're very, this person, whoever this one person is, they're very confident about it. And I feel as if this isn't a confidence that is untrue, right? I really feel as if you may be feeling the same way or you feel something for this person. Again, they're calling bullshit, pal number one. So um, over in the extended, we're gonna tap into the 18 plus side of this reading. How do men view you but 18 plus, all right? So if you're interested in that, that is gonna be in the description box below. Uh, but please like, comment, and definitely subscribe, y'all, to become a raindrop. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace. Pile number two, pile number two. How do men view you? Before we get into this reading, <clears throat> this reading will be extended. And in the extended, it will be the 18 plus version of how do men view you, okay? So if you're interested in that, that'll be in the description box below. How do men view you? We got some Capricorns in the chat. I already know it. Because I'm reading this energy as just like, there's some Capricorns watching. <laughs> You know, like I'm not really reading too deep into the devil card here. I don't know if you get what I'm saying there. Anyways, um, yeah, they're viewing you as hot, sexy. You give off like a smoldering hot. You know, like you're giving off like a steam or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's like that's how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as so sexy. So sexy. Too sexy for your own good, pile number two. This is how they feel. Men are like, damn, 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 damn. You know, like that's the type of energy that I'm getting. Men are viewing you like, yeah, you make men want to come at you full force or you make men want to, I, I guess I'm just, you make men want to chase chase you down the street okay you make them want to chase you hard like real hard like no lie no joke like where are you at what are you doing today oh you can't do it today what are you doing the next day what what, what about the, the day after that you know like that <laughs> that's how men feel about you that's that's um how men are viewing you like they're ready on your mark get set go this is how they are viewing you Baby, it's a chase. This is they're, they and there's no shame in their game about it. Like there's no shame in the men at this time when it comes to you. There's no shame. There's no shame. They're like you, yeah, you. I'm pursuing you. 
Okay, so I don't know what you thought, but I'm pursuing you. <laughs> this is the energy. Mm-hmm. Very precise. Like, you had... Mm. You're giving off an energy of, like, when men see you, they instantly know that it's you that I want to pursue. It's not anybody else, it's you. This could be men who've been dating for a while, where they're like, man, I'm bored with these options. But then you came along, and they're like, you. We're like, yeah, and I'm getting this energy of, like, very closely listening to your words. You know, like, whatever it is you say, they're like, okay, you know. Well, I know you said you like the color yellow, so I figured we could do this. I don't know. I was trying to think of an example and, and incorporate the color yellow, but I couldn't. But you feel me. You know, they're really, really intensely, not intensely, they're, yeah, okay. They're intensely listening to what you're saying because they're in pursuit mode, pile number two. The way that men are viewing you is if, yeah, they're like, I've got, it's kind of like I've got this person's attention. So I'm going to make the most out of it. You know, that's the type of energy that I'm getting here. Um, mm -hmm. How are men viewing my pile number twos? Clarify this two of swords, please. It's like they're ready to make a blind. They're ready to make a blind decision on you. They're like, if this is someone that you've only known, known for a little bit, or maybe maybe you went on a date with someone one time. And then, you know, you don't get to know a person fully on one date. They're ready to make a blind decision on that. They're like, mm, I don't fully know them, but I'm ready to drop all my options for you. You know, I'm ready to really focus on this. Or, you know, if 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 they were talking to other people uh, before uh, or just dating, you know, if they were dating or are dating, um, they're like really putting the brakes on everybody else that they were talking to. And they're just focusing on you because it's like, again, the way that men are viewing you is as if you're the one. It's like when they see you, they're like, yes, you are the one I want to pursue. I don't know. I just get such a precise energy with men around you. They're like, not them, not her, not him, not any of that. But you, you know, that's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, how are men viewing my pile number twos? How are men viewing my pile number twos? Um, it's kind of like an energy of like trap you into some plans. I don't know why it's coming through that way. I mean, I guess because I got the devil card here. Um, <laughs> It's like they want to make plans with you, but it's kind of like a, I don't want to say trap you into plans, but they kind of want to make plans with you in a way where you can't slide out of them though. So it's kind of like, the <laughs> you know, I don't know if you are trying to do that anyways. I mean, maybe some of you are, maybe you, someone made plans with you and you're like, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. But it, the way that men want to make plans with you is in a way where like, you can't get you you nah we're going you know <laughs> we're going i don't know we're we're going okay like that's the energy mm -hmm. it's like a not playing fair type of energy when it comes to you pile number two because again you're giving that energy you're giving that energy of like I, i'm not about to choose anybody else you know like i don't want to go on a date with anybody else or that's the type of energy so if they're feeling that way about you and if you're giving them an energy of like one toe in, one foot in, one foot out, they're like, nah, man, uh-uh. I'm trying to think of plans here that they could make with you where you kind of can't get out of, I don't know, but you will know, right? <laughs> this resonates. If this resonates for you, pals, number two, you will know. You will know the plans because they're like, nah, we're going. Oh, we're going to this concert, okay? You thought that I bought these tickets and we ain't going to the concert? We're going. Uh, all right. How are men doing my pile number twos? <laughs> very cute energy, though. It's just a very serious energy, and I land on that. It's a very serious energy coming from men. Um, because they really want to pursue something with you. Okay, so definitely that. Um, how are many of you my pal number um, two? Please, 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 bear, give me a card. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah, it's like a, a certain seriousness that you carry about yourself, about your life, if you have any children, about your child, children. There's a certain seriousness that you carry about your your life here, you know? And um, men are just... I think there's just an energy of them wanting you to know how serious they are about you. They're as serious as you are about your life, your children, your house, your car, whatever it is, your job, your passions. As serious as you are about those things, men, the men around you, pile number two, are that serious about you, you know? They really, really like the fact that um, you take, it's like you, you take your life seriously or maybe you have a routine or, you know, you're very, very like, on top of your shit, you know? You're giving a very independent energy, not too independent, I guess. It's just kind of like a independent where you've got you, you know, pal two? You've got you. And men are seeing that seriousness that you have for yourself and it's like they're wanting to take over that for you or they're wanting to um, be that serious about you. It's kind of, yeah, mm -hmm, that's the energy for sure. It's kind of like as serious as you are about your stuff. It's like the men that are pursuing you or want to date you or anything like that. They want to be that serious about you. And then like so that you don't have to be so serious about yourself. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> they like, I think what I'm really trying to say here is. They see how independent you are. They see you doing what it is that you've got to do, but they want to come in and be that seriousness for you or they want to come in and be who takes over things for you. It's it's just giving a masculine energy, really. That's all it is. It's just spirit just got me breaking it down. That's all. And they just really want to, um, you know, be... You make men really step into their masculine energy when it comes to you and because you're so independent because you are I heard so self-sufficient it's like they got to take their seriousness up to another level to match your seriousness that you have about yourself does that make sense i hope so um but this is how men are viewing you all right so over in the extended um this will be all about how men are viewing you 18 plus edition 18 plus style 18 plus all right so if you're interested in that that'll be in the description box below but please like please comment definitely subscribe know that i love you on a soul level i don't know why but i feel like i have people saying that with me right now as i'm saying it but yeah know that i love you on a soul level peace Style number three, how are men viewing you? Um, this reading will be extended. In the extended, it would be the 18 plus version of how men are viewing you, okay? So that will be in the description box if you are interested. Um, but men are viewing you as, um, a, I heard a character. Hmm. Clarify this five of swords. Favorable, admirable, interesting. Clarify this five of swords. I'm getting some, um, I don't know, like two-sided energy here. I feel like this may be a situation where men are, they view you in one way, but the way that they speak about you is differently. Yeah, you may be having somebody talking shit here, pile number three. Um, they're viewing you in a way where it's kind of like you always get what you want. I really feel like somebody's salty here, pile three. I'm going to keep it real hot. I feel like somebody's salty. Maybe you didn't choose somebody. Maybe this is someone who you didn't end up with or that you are not interested in this could be someone who yeah oh yes this could be someone who you're not interested in power three so men are viewing you as someone that they're very interested in it's like ace of wands upright for them and what they want but you're not the ace of wands is, is in reverse for how you see i guess is one person
It's like a, a turning them down gently. Mm -hmm. Men are seeing you as someone that they that turned them down. And so with that, it it um definitely bruised their ego or it definitely made them feel away. Got it. Thank you, Spirit. Made it so clear for me. So this could be an ex. This could be an ex who you're no longer with and this person still wants you, but maybe you don't you don't feel the same way about them. Um, and with that, this person is like upset. Yeah, this person's upset, pile three. They're upset about that. They don't like that. And so this is a type of person here where they would um, like gossip or they would, it's giving a very insecure energy. I'm not even gonna hold you. But um, yeah, this is like the type of person where they would, since they can't have you, they don't want anybody else to be interested in you. Okay, All right, maybe this is their friends. This is their friends. Yeah. It's like a smear campaign or something like that. Yeah, pile three. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what's happening here. How are men viewing my pile number threes? Let's get more. How are men viewing my pile? Damn. Oh my god. Baby, when I tell you that I be reading this energy, I really do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so men are viewing you as someone who turned them down, pal three. Mm -hmm. And they're in their feelings about it. That's really what it is. Clarify this seven of swords. They're in their feelings about it. You turn them down. Or this could be if you turn them down. Okay, so stay away from people like this, pal three. Okay, because child, who got time for this? Clarify the seven of swords, please. Let's see, let's see. Get the fool. Mm. It's kind of like a, they feel that way about you, or they feel like if this is someone that you didn't want to be with, or maybe someone that you broke up with, or anything like that, it's like they wanna they wanna start a smear campaign, or they wanna do this, or they wanna act out of not out of character, but act very immaturely but then they don't do that. They hold back from doing that because they, they know that that would be a display of insecurity. Child, what is going on with the men, pal three? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to gather it. So men are viewing you in this pile, men are viewing you as someone who you were not interested in them, okay? And because of that, they don't like that. It makes them feel insecure. Of course, they wouldn't say that. But, um, that, yeah. It, and so, with that, it makes them want to... This is giving narcissistic energy, pal three. But it makes them want to, um, like, start a smear campaign. But then they don't do that. Because it's like they want to leave a foot in the door just in case that you do like them. I, child, okay. <laughs> uh, ask, yeah, mm-hmm, exactly. Someone's in their feelings, pal three. Men are viewing you as someone who is highly sought after, very sexy. Um, you got your shit together, you look amazing. Yeah, you got your shit together. You look amazing. You smell good. Your hair looks pretty. I heard your hair smells good. You literally walk around like you have a crown on your head. Like you're a queen because you are, okay? But yeah, I, I you know, that's your energy. That's your vibe, pal number three. And, and I really feel like this is one man because not all men are seeing you like this. But I feel like one man is like, um, I don't know. I don't know. Is this threatened or not threatened? They They just... I think your confidence is making them feel away, pal three. I really do. But I'm also getting this energy with this person that this could change. Or like this, I mean, not, not that you would, <laughs> not that you would want it to, not that you, there's something in this person that if it doesn't go the way that they would want it to go, they things could change. 
they could flip or they could flip a switch or they could switch over or something like that, okay? That's the energy. That's the energy. This is how men are viewing you, pile number three, as someone that they want um, very, very badly. But if they're not able to get what they want, they feel like they could really show up in a different way when it comes to you. But then they also think about that and how that mm, how that would show how immature they are. Okay, so someone's caught in like a loop here, all right? They're caught in a loop. Someone's going through some growth, okay? Because it's like they want to act a certain way. But then they're like, nah, that would just, I would look so immature if I did that, you know? Which, I mean, starting a smear campaign because someone's not interested in you, yeah, you would look very immature. So it's kind of like they're, they're um, checking their actions. I feel like someone may feel like they're, they're like backed into a corner or something. How are men viewing my pile number threes? I need more. I need more. I need more. That's, I don't want to take those. <laughs> Just one, please, spirit. Just one. How are many of you are my pile number? Thank you. Mm, damn. Well, shit. Yeah, I think this is someone that um you're no longer interested in or maybe you dated and then, you know, things didn't work out or something like that and they're upset. Now, I am being clarified by with spirit that, um you know, if they were to quote unquote start some sort of a smear campaign when it comes to you, it really wouldn't go far because it would only reach their friends. Because I feel like this person, this person isn't, this person isn't even listen. <sighs> so much. This person would never want that to get back to you. This person has some type of like, I don't know, the, I don't know if it's intimidation or. Or they feel intimidated or they don't they would never want that to get back to you because this person wants to keep a foot in the door all right i'm just reading the energy right now you take it how you take it you take it however you feel right because i'm not trying to correct every single thing that i say like oh well that's not right or that is right you know it is what it is this is just purely what the energy is but This is the person. This is one person in particular. So um, how men are viewing you outside of this one person, they're viewing you as being very sexy, very opinionated, very loving, very self-aware, very aware of others. You're giving Aries energy, pal three. You're definitely giving like strong Aries energy, okay? And, um, you know, Pathory, some men can't handle that, unfortunately. Some men, some men can't handle, you know, that strong, independent type of energy because they feel as if, you know, it would be like they're not enough, you know? So I think that's what you're dealing with. The, that's the type of man, man or men that are viewing you right now. Um, as someone who's very strong because it's like spirit has me reading this one way because the way I see your energy pile number three you got it going on all right you really do period point blank but then I'm seeing this through another lens of the men that are viewing you and I'm getting an energy of like hate they could be hating on you pile three and this is in their head okay they're like hating on you in their head all right <laughs> But then they want to keep a, a, a foot in the door, you know, just in case, you know. So, child, keep doing you, pal three. Yeah, so this is how men are viewing you. Um, over in the extended, we're going to tap into the 18 plus version of this reading. So, if you're interested in that, please uh, check the description box below. But like, comment, definitely subscribe to become a raindrop. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace.